All right, welcome to my Fortnite Wish Set Match Quest Pack Gameplay and Review. That is a mouthful. So this, of course, is the Chapter 4 Season 3 Quest Pack, which gives you 1,500 V-Bucks if you complete all the quests associated with it. So it is a real-life money quest pack, $11.99. When you compare this to the Save the World Pack, it's a lot cheaper. So it comes with the Court Queen Arisa, her back bling, her pickaxe, which appear to be interactable because they have the exact same name, and then the group shot wrap. But most importantly, the wish set match quests, which are just a bunch of daily quests you have to do to get the 1500 V-Bucks. So let's go ahead and purchase it, and then we'll do the full gameplay and review. Well, I just tried to buy it, and it says, we've encountered a critical error with your purchase. Hmm. Okay, let's try again. Okay, there it worked, I think. Maybe? Yeah, there she is, Court Queen Arisa. So everything just like I said, including the quest pack. Nice. I heard reports of some people not being able to buy this. Now, you did see it glitched out the first time I tried, but then I tried again, and it worked pretty effortlessly. So keep trying, maybe restart your game, I don't know. So now, the first thing to notice is that you should have the quest right here. Like I said, they're just daily quests. So if you want to see what you got, come to daily up here. I have to eliminate opponents at the Citadel. I feel like they made the daily quest a bit more difficult. Okay, so here we go in the locker, the Court Queen Arisa. First of all, I wanted to compare it to the original Arisa skin from Chapter 3, Season 2. So obviously this is a huge tennis theme, and tennis had nothing to do with the original skin. It says, a lost princess from a forgotten realm of warriors. And this one again says ruling the court in summer style. So this is meant to be a summer sporty tennis theme. But in comparison to the original one, you can see the hair does change. She has that ponytail, but it's braided. And she still has the bunny ears or cat ears, whatever those are supposed to be. And she still has that thing on her nose. What is that? I don't know what that is. And then the little fang tooth sticking out. But other than that, the attire changes dramatically. Now remember, with the original one, she had a ton of options. Look at this. So the default was this purplish blue color. Then you had the bright pink and blue. Then you had the sylvan color. And then the super levels. So a lot of customization there. And you could also take her cape on and off. So if you wanted the cape on, it was pretty unique, I guess. It's like a half of a cape. And lastly, you could put a lot of different helmets on. And of course, these change colors with whatever color suit you had. But here we are with the Court Queen version. So I can't really make out what her shirt says because her ponytail goes right over it. Of course, she has her tennis skirt on and she is that cell shaded anime effect just like she was originally. Now you can also swap to the second style, which is called Summer Casual. And for me, I don't like this one. I'll be honest. I don't say that a lot about skins, but I just, I don't know. I would much prefer this style right here. The tennis style looks amazing. The summer casual is just that, a little too casual for me. I'm not a big fan of the sandals, and she's got that bowl hat on. I don't know. Now, you can also turn the cell shaded anime effect off if you want. So the middle one is the outlined gradient, and you've got that almost, I don't even know how to describe it. It's got a bold outline to it and you could turn that off as well so it's just a gradient only this is your typical skin right here but if you want the full anime effect it's right there if you want it half right there and then you can go to the normal looking skin let's see what this one looks like in those styles okay i mean it's not too bad there's the outline version there's the anime effect so she gets like a pinkish hue with the anime and then she loses that definitely with the middle style it's good, because I saw already on my item shop review, someone said, I'm not buying that. It's anime. I don't like anime skin. And I said, well, you could turn it off if you want. So no excuse there. If you liked it to begin with, minus the anime, you could turn it off. Now, the back bling is just a tennis racket cover. And then the pickaxe is the tennis racket itself. And then you get the group shot wrap. Now, I don't know if this is anime cell shaded. I think it is, but we'll see. And that design on it is exactly what's on her secondary styles shirt. So sadly, we don't have a glider, but there is another tennis glider out there. In fact, there's two of them and they're really, really clean. 
So the first one is this, the Queen's Cloud Carriage. And I think it's cell shaded. I can't remember. And then there's the Cursed Haze Board. So one is teal and one is that pinkish blue. And these are both part of the Naomi Osaka set. All right, so let's hop in and take a peek at this. So here we go, the Queen's Cloud Carriage. That is so clean, it matches this brand new Arisa style perfectly. I love it. So if you're a fan of tennis, you're gonna absolutely love this skin and this glider. But unfortunately, I don't remember the last time the Naomi Osaka skin came back. And that's the only way to get this glider. Look, it even poops out gold tennis balls. I think those are supposed to be tennis balls at least. I don't know. Pretty clean though. Definitely a sweet glider that matches this skin perfectly. Okay, so it looks like I was mistaken. I thought whenever the back bling and the pickaxe have the same name, they're interactable. But I do not see the tennis racket coming out of that back bling. It looks like it's zipped up, but no matter if you're holding it or if you're not, it remains the same. I wonder if that's a glitch. I feel like Naomi Osaka's tennis racket was interactable. Hold on, we're just gonna double check that because I feel like this should be interactable, 100%. So here's Naomi Osaka's, again, same name, just like Arisa's, and this is like a cover for it, and this is the actual pickaxe. I'm 99.9% .9 these are interactable, let's go look. Okay, so you can see that the tennis racket is in there by the handle. Yeah, see? You can clearly tell it was taken out of there. What the heck? Why is Arisa's not doing that? Well, actually this one doesn't look too bad. And yeah, maybe it's just glitched in creative. I'll go into a real match and check, but that should 100% in my opinion, be interactable with the pickaxe. Oh, regardless, here's the pickaxe. It's got a green frame inside. Oh, there's, okay, well, it's just a very slight contrail of that green color. How about a splash? Hopefully that's green. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's noticeable. Let's try in the dark real quick. Yeah, it's still barely noticeable. Splash is good though. So like I said, I feel like if you're a fan of tennis, you're gonna really enjoy this skin. And if you're not a fan of tennis, I don't know, it's still a decent looking skin. I feel like the original Orisa has way more options and it should because it was a battle pass skin. And this is just a quest pack where you get the 1500 V-Bucks. Now the wrap, mm, I still can't tell if that's cell shaded or not. I don't think it is. Is it? I don't know. It's not bad. Maybe it's meant for the second style. So she's a pretty clean tennis skin. Let's try the one that I said I didn't like in the locker. Ah, okay, so now it makes sense why there's purple on the wrap because it's meant for this secondary style, okay. Yeah. So, they made the wrap for the secondary style. That's kind of weird. Very rarely will you see that. Hmm. So you can see she has a purple bracelet on as well as the purple hat. I guess it's not as bad as I made it out to be, but I definitely like the tennis style better. Okay, so for this secondary style, what I decided to do, because she doesn't really match, I decided to make her exactly like the original Orisa skin, except for the back bling. So we took the back bling off so you can see the purse, and then I gave her the original pickaxe, glider, contrail, and the dagger dance. Oh yeah, I remember these pickaxes, these are sweet. Twirly whirly. For sure. Very cool. And then you could do the dagger dance. It's more pink than that color purple she has on, but still not bad. Love that contra though. Beautiful. Okay, so this skin is definitely grown on me, but I much prefer the first one. All right, let's display the cell shaded effects. We'll do the outline version first. So now all the accessories should look a bit strange because she's not anime anymore. It's kind of like a dull version of purple, like almost a violet. Yeah, I think she's a lot better off as anime. Let's try the third style though. Okay, that's a little better. I mean, it makes her skin look incredibly white. And again, she gets that pinkish hue with the anime effect. Yeah, I think she looks the best in anime. Okay, well that one doesn't look too bad. Spin around there. That's 
pretty good. How about the no gradient? That's yeah, pretty clean too. I think the issue is once you've seen the anime version, then these other two look kind of weird. If they just released like this, I think it would be a completely different story. You'd see this and you'd be like, oh, that's not bad at all. But when you compare it to the anime version, it just seems a little, I don't know, lacking. But there you go though. Some people don't like the anime cell shaded effects. So at least they give you that option. Okay, let's see here. No, still nothing. What the heck? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this should be interactable? Like Naomi Osaka's was? I think it should. So I also changed the wrap to the original Arisa wrap. And uh, that one doesn't look bad either because she kind of has that pink on her face right there. So, not bad. So there you go. That is the brand new Court Queen Arisa skin. Is it worth the price? I guess it depends on if you want the V-Bucks. Now, how did she compare to the original Arisa? Well, of course, the Battle Pass skin trumps her in every way. But if you're a big fan of tennis, I think you're truly going to enjoy this. And if you have the original Arisa skin, you can couple some of her accessories and make her even better. Likewise, if you have the Naomi Osaka set, some of her accessories go great, at least with the tennis version of this skin. Now, like I said, I didn't really like the summer casual style. I probably will never run that. But the tennis one, definitely I would run that one. And the fact that you can toggle the cell shading off for everything in the entire set is definitely a nice touch. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Taper Time.